Zoodles, how do you make them? I'm going to dispel a myth that you have to have some type of fancy gadget to make zoodles. The truth is, I figured out a lot of different ways using just a knife to several different gadgets to make zoodles. What are zoodles? They are noodles made from zucchini. Veggie noodles, why would you want this? Well, <laughs> because it's vegetables disguised as pasta. And that's amazing. So first way I'm going to show you is just using a knife. How awesome is this knife, by the way? So if you're going to use a knife, you're just going to trim off the ends. That end doesn't matter. You're just going to make as thin of slices as you can. And so that's what I have. And this is obviously going to take a lot longer to do it this way. And so then I'm going to then go and make small little narrow strips. And so here we go. This isn't going to be perfect, but you can kind of see what I've got right here. And you know, the nice thing about having a really long knife like this too, is I can get the whole length of the zucchini in one chop instead of having to kind of saw it back and forth. So you can see this is what the zoodles would be like if I was doing this method. And that's obviously, like I said, going to take longer. The next option is going to be using a mandolin. And so I've got the julienne fry piece in there and then the straight edged piece. And so what I would do is I would take the zucchini, use the little guard, and shred it lengthwise, obviously. And so, look how much faster that was than the knife. See, I got the same, same idea, but faster. And these are pretty thick. So the next contraption we have is called a veggetti, which sounds ridiculous, but get it. Spaghetti and veggie, vegetable, that's where the name come from. So we have a thin side and a thick side. As far as how thin or thick you want the noodles to be, I prefer the thin ones. This is what I started out with. This is what introduced me to zoodles, got me hooked on it. So I'm gonna show you. So I just chopped again off the end, put it in the thin end, and I'm just going to twist. And I'll kind of hold it up so you can see what's happening. See how awesome that is? And they're long, so it's, some of the times they'll break off, but otherwise it's just a continuous boom, just like that. So that's what I used for a long time, but with five kids, seven people in my family, my hands would actually get really sore and I felt like it was taking a long time. And by that time I was so in love with zoodles that I thought, okay, it's been two years I think, it's time to take it up to the next notch. So as far as where you would get the Vegetti, you can get it on Amazon. I'm gonna provide a link so you can just go straight there. They're about 10 to $12 or at Bed Bath & Beyond, I've seen them. I think people have seen them at Walmart. I'm totally into Amazon, <laughs> Amazon Prime, easiest thing ever. Okay, so when you are ready to be like all in vegetable noodle person, I use it for pho, I use it for like spaghetti marinara, you can, I mean you can do it so many different things and it tastes like pasta, but it's obviously way, way, way lower, lower carb and way more nutrients than any type of pasta. You can eat zoodles raw, whether it has hot sauce or as like a salad, or you can cook them, saute them, and then they're you know warmer and they take, taste even more like pasta. Of course, you're gonna lose a little bit of your nutrient value. All right, this is the Mac Daddy, so in love with this. This is a Paderno spiralizer. And I have the tri-blade one, there's a newer one. I don't feel like I need a newer one with a fourth blade, I just use this. But you can use this for apples, sweet potatoes, there's all different types of things you can do, but right now we're just talking about zoodles. And so how you do this is, it's got little suction cups at the bottom. So you're gonna put it there, suction cup it down. I'm gonna cut this off to give it a fresh end. And then I just take it, and there's a little round circular piece here, so I go like that. And then this has little spikies that go in there. And you guys, this is so, so easy. I just apply pressure and then I start, you know what, you need to see this better. It'll fall on the table, but that's okay. I just 
Boom, how amazing is that? And these are actually thicker um, zoodles. There, I have a piece that's even thinner. I actually think my kids used it and that's <laughs> why I don't have it right here. I thought I had the thinner one. So it just has thinner holes and it will make thinner noodles, more like angel hair instead of linguine. But look how fast this is. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, so think how quickly you can zip through zucchini doing this. I mean, amazing. It leaves this little crazy looking thing. Now, this one's half done, so I'm not sure that I can do it on here. But once again, I got mine on Amazon. I'm going to put a link. Yeah, that's not going to work. So once you slice it weird like this, it's not going to work so well. You need to start with a full zucchini, but that's obvious. So I'll put the link to this one. I, I, I totally recommend it. It's $25 to $30 and just the best money spent because it's fun. The kids like to do it. It's safe for them. And look how awesome that is. And like I said, this is a thicker noodle, but I have an attachment. One of the blades is a smaller noodle. And I store these in mason jars, so they're ready to go. I hope this has helped. I'm Ash Brockington with the Busy Girl Society. You can go to busygirlsociety.com, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash losing it with Sam and Ash. On, on Instagram, it's busygirlsociety with underscores. And I would love, if you are not already part of my Busy Girl You community, to become part of that. Um, for that, it's facebook.com backslash groups backslash busygirlyou. All right, busy girls, I hope this helps.